So the Halo Rise, it is a bedside tracker that you might want to take and really consider to be your new alarm clock. And before you go, well, I don't need a sunrise clock. I don't need an alarm clock like that. I don't need something that looks like this. What I'm trying to do is just let you see exactly what this is capable of. Because when you look at it, it is not a, you're not like, whoa, that's like the future, right? You're not like, oh my God, they made this super amazing uh, alarm clock that just it was so futuristic. Well, it does look futuristic, but these are the these are the specific things that this does. Well, you're going to be having it connected to your Wi-Fi. So this is Wi-Fi because you're going to be able to connect to it via the Alexa app. Or in this case, you're going to be also be able to connect it to the Halo app. And the Halo app is going to give you a lot of information that this is going to be able to detect based on your sleep patterns because there's sensors in here. And those sensors are going to monitor how you sleep. How does it do that? You have to place this and you have to let it know where you place it, either on the left or right side of your bed, depending on where you sleep on your bed. And you're going to point it at your body. If you point it at your body, it's going to detect motion by you moving. Not like your wristwatches or these digital watches that are going to be detecting movement, but just on your arm. This is going to be really looking for your entire body. So what did I notice about using it? You also can use this as a alarm clock that rises with you but also makes a sound so that you don't miss the alarm because i know a lot of people are worried about getting a sunrise clock because what if you cover your face with your pillow or a blanket what if you throw something at it and it just knocks it out of the floor this is not making any noise so you can't turn it off uh, or it's, you can't really you don't even know it's on so the secret here i've just turned it on and this is at this peak setting and this is the light intensity that's really ultimately waking you up so if i'm sleeping and i have something this you're going to keep it about an arm's length away. So it's about an arm length away. And if I have something this bright shining in my face, no matter what, I find that I'm going to wake up. But it doesn't in a gradual way. So when you are in a light sleep period, so when it detects that you are kind of starting to get up, it's going to start, and it's close to the alarm time, it's going to start gradually increasing the intensity of this light. Currently, this is the settings that we have. We're going to set on the smart alarm. We're going to update. So that means this is going to trigger within one minute. So in one minute, the alarm clock is going to trigger. Now, I'm not in my bed. I'm not moving around. So this should not do the whole entire light wake up period. But I want to just share with you what the alarm actually looks like and that this has a beep that you can add. You can add the beep during the light wake up period where just the lights are on in case you cover your head. You hear this beeping? You hear that beeping, guys? That's the beeping that will first start up. It'll get a little bit louder as it starts getting closer to the overall time. You can notice that the lights are automatically getting brighter. The noise is getting a little bit louder so that you cannot wake up past the alarm. Second, the light is going to wake you up more gently if you don't want the alarm. But this is just a like overall, this is just how I like to be waking up, especially if I have a hard time using an alarm clock. So still on the still on this kind of warm in about two, three minutes, this is going to go to full intensity and it's going to be shining in your face. So it's hard to sleep when there's light shining in your face. Like, you know, it's hard to sleep. This is not even at middle or high intensity. You can just keep seeing how it gets brighter and brighter. We're going to we're going to turn off the and put it on snooze or you could just turn off the alarm completely. So that's going to turn off the alarm completely. It's an alarm clock that tracks your sleep. It has the sunrise clock. It has the alarm beep and it has the ability for you to turn on the you can turn on the um, display. So let me turn on the display here. This is our clock. And we've activated our clock. You have auto adjustment on the brightness or I put the brightness all the way at max. You can you cannot turn off this this clock inside of the device. You have to do it inside of the menu in the app. So it works in the background. So, you know, you have nothing to wear. Uh, you have nothing to charge. I can't always use my smartwatches to sleep track because I got to take them off to charge. So that night I lose that information. This is always going to be with you at all times. It comes with the uh, Halo membership for six months currently. Um, that is already like a 18 
$21 credit that they're giving you. Uh, it's up to you if you want to continue it. I find that, let me show you what I mean. On the top of your, on the top of your screen here, that is your Halo data. So if I was to select my Halo, I can also go to my settings. So I can adjust my alarm clock there. I have my notifications. It can let me download my health data. It has the account linking. It has Alexa tricks. So the, they also give you instructions on how to use your Halo, like how Halo Rise tracks your sleep, where to place the Halo Rise, how to get the best results with your Halo, how to use the wake up light, how to set a smart alarm, how to use the Halo Rise with Alexa. So they give you all this information directly inside of the app, but the secret of the Halo is going to be right here actually. So when you connect to the Halo and you connect to it here, you're going to have the accessibility. You're going to select where, what side of the bed. You're going to select the clock brightness. If you want the clock to show or not. You want the time zone. And let me show you what I mean here. So currently, there is no clock that is showing on my Halo. So here's some data that I have recorded using my Halo. You see my average sleep score. You see my average time asleep. You see my average time awake. And you see my figures. Compared to my smartwatch, the Halo gave me about one hour hour less per of well, let's be honest. It gave me what it actually recorded one hour less of sleep per night. It recorded me getting out of bed better. It recorded me moving around better. Me just waking up and trying to fall back asleep better than my smartwatch. Because as long as I'm inactive on my smartwatch and my heart rate is pretty level, it thinks I'm like sleeping. While this, I could be sitting up, I could be moving around. It will already detect that and then it will say I'm not sleeping. So that is some some important differences between a halo sensor and a watch sensor. But this is the Halo Rise. Place the device on the side of your bed to collect sleep data. Choose if you're facing the bed. So I normally sleep on the right side of my bed. So I normally sleep on the right side. So we're going to say we're on the right. So it's going to be on the right side. Make sure the device's metal stand is the same height up to eight inches above your mattress. So that is fine. Face the device towards your upper body. Avoid changing the angle. So, so one thing you want to know, let's get everything in place. So you want to angle this. You want to angle the halo rise towards your upper body. Avoid changing the angle for accurate results. And then set your device about an arm's length away with no objects in between. So blankets are okay. Connect your device to the Halo app. So we're going to connect to it. Plug your device in. It shows that it's pairing. So we're in the pairing mode now. Now we're connected. New light Halo Rise Band. To control it, you can save things and activate it using the Alexa app as well. So wake up, refresh with the Halo Rise. The wake up light stimulates a, the wake up light stimulates a natural sunrise. Halo Smart Alarm measures your sleep cycle and rings in your light sleep stage. So how does Smart Alarm work? If you set an alarm for 7 a.m., Halo Smart Alarm will begin monitoring your sleep cycles at 6.30 a.m. with the goal to wake you up at the last possible light sleep stage prior to 7 a.m. If no light sleep stage is detected the 30, in the 30 minute window, the alarm will just ring normally. So it's looking for when your body is communicating to say, well, I'm most likely to easily wake up at this specific moment. So we got it. Wake up refreshed. When would you like to set up your bedtime? We're going to edit this for 6.30 a.m. Perfect. So if you're trying to decide, is this the right device for you? I do think you should try it out. I find that it gives me more accurate information about my sleep patterns. And it's super easy to use with a gentle sunrise alarm clock that can beep and you can turn it off.